What's up guys, Sergeant Curry Pants here from the YouTube Wolfpack I'm playing Assassin's Creed Origins and I'm on a boat and looks like there's fire in the water and oh gosh I'm hit um oh boy okay okay uh, I'm gonna concentrate oh uh, boy boy oh no oh no it's like three against one and everyone's hitting me Every oh boy I'm surrounded by fire okay I got catapults now I have catapults that's cool that that's so cool fire arrows hardly do any damage catapults are really cool ramming and fire bombs but this boat is not the easiest thing to steer okay jeez 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 I have allies now and they don't seem to be doing anything what is your purpose no seriously what is your purpose boats and like one big boat I have no friends well I have friends but they're useless oh jeez oh man oh, oh man I, how is ducking helping me from getting like preventing me from getting damaged by flaming arrows now it's not everyone's shirtless we have no armor and we're not flame retardant when we duck so I mean that that I'm not complaining because it is protecting me but I'm complaining because logic It's not fair it has so much of life and I'm just like dead Oh man I'm just going to keep bracing and waiting for catapults to charge cuz I don't know Oh boy Damn it! Sheesh! I sounded like Gollum just now. Oh man. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh jeez. The controller's like vibrating with every hit. Just feeling it more and it's just more ashamed kind of thing. With every vibration, I'm more ashamed of myself. That is the tiniest catapult I've ever seen. Look at this thing. How are you reloading fire arrows so fast? And where are you getting the fire from? Like, it, what kind of machines do you have there? They take time to light up the arrow, but these guys are just going. Whoa. Jeez, Jesus. Okay, it's almost dead. It's almost dead. One more hit. Like, okay, maybe like 50 more hits because my flaming arrows apparently do nothing. Yes! Done. Okay, good. You know, it's really hard to steer this boat because honestly, the thing that's going to get you is going into an area that's not available and then getting desynchronized. That's annoying. And it's really hard. This boat is not turning the way I want it to. I get it. Boats don't turn the way you want it to because it's back in those days, but it's really annoying. I'm annoyed. Where do I even go? I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, oh, okay, cool, cool. Next scene. <laughs> Let's not celebrate too roundly, old man. We're afloat in the sea with a cargo with a thousand ships. He's pretending that didn't hurt. I'm sure that hurt because that thing on her arm is pretty solid. Oh, oh boy. 
Yes, your tiny little paper shield is gonna help you with the flaming arrows. Oh, he's gonna die. Every every Assassin's Creed game, somebody is gonna die. And even if he doesn't die now, he's probably gonna die from a wound infection because they keep putting Kentucky herbs and spices in their wounds back then. Bye, fam. You're gonna die, but cool. Well, nice knowing you. We cannot afford to spill any wrong also, life. Cleopatra didn't look like this. Wasn't she Greek or something? Like, she wouldn't be this tan, like, you know? And she was actually pretty ugly. I mean, she had that hump nose and... But I mean, I like this vision of Cleopatra that they have. For once, perhaps a queen's entrance is unnecessary. It's more like the propaganda Cleopatra. The one the Greek, the Greek people kind of made a bad rumor about that she was a hoe. She wasn't a hoe. She only had like two people in her life. Look at me going on about some garbage. Huh, she's in the carpet! Hey, I got Cleo in the carpet! <laughs> the funny thing about this... She must be so heavy, but the old man is carrying her. And that pot is so heavy, but I'm carrying her and I have no muscles. Bayek with the giant muscles is carrying a basket of herbs. Like he's got all the strength, but he carries the lightest thing. Let them pass with an escort. Follow me. Idiots. This way. Our Imperator appreciates the hospitality. Have you received the warm welcome our Peros always provide? If she just sticks out one toe out of that blanket, I am screwed. Did I just say blanket? It's a carpet. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? We understand. Oh, he's slowing down. <laughs> I think she's getting heavy. <laughs> And this pot is getting heavy too because I can't seem to be moving properly. It's hard. Oh, but I've got plenty of time to sashay my hips. All sexy like. Priorities. Priorities. Yes, legionary. Aya has her priorities straight. I don't know why Bayek's all the way in the back with his tiny basket of herbs. Offering? Would you like me to help you carry your carpet? The weird sounds you're hearing no, in the background is my sister was disturbing me in the game. By the Just they by the way, in the case you're wondering. Uh, where's Bayek? Oh, there's he. Official business for cool. The <sighs> Who are you? You look like a hippodrome racer. C1 warrior. Continue this way. Okay, he's walking so slow and this is really frustrating now. Like Oh my gosh. But I understand it, you're carrying a queen. Pharaoh, whatever. Jeez, man, have some pip in your step. That, did I just did that guy just throw the carpet? He looked like he just swung it back. Oh, nothing like a glistening bloody head to make me happy. That is a trinket. What is this guy, the Joffrey of the ancient Egypt? That's definitely Caesar. Yep, that's Joffrey. Sends a rug. What is this guy like? 10, 11? Ta da! Cue the telenovela music. And all her jewels are intact, even though she was rolled in a carpet. Mm, Caesar is checking out. He's let the wine go to vinegar. 
and my kingdom into pieces. You can just tell Caesar ain't gonna listen to the baby brother anymore. Uh uh, he's too busy checking Cleo out. I can offer you what my brother failed at with me. Marriage. A true marriage, that is. Oh yeah, I know that look. They're gonna discuss politics if you know what I mean. Oh man, poor guy. Out, all. You will be sent for when our congress is concluded. I mean, can you blame Caesar? I wish to hear both Ptolemy's side of the story. Optimus and Septimius gone. We miss them. You will have another job this. well done for the assassins. This is Cleopatra's time to officially become queen. If she is crowned queen, we will be able to act from within. <laughs> I like how this guard is just Tomorrow eavesdropping <laughs> with these spooky eyes. <laughs> He's just got bulging eyes. The you prove your worth tenfold today. You truly are great magis. Ooh, Senu, my favorite bird. Look at me chilling on the rooftops. Like, that's perfectly normal behavior. I'm trying to feed the bird that's trying to kill me. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. I'm trying to eat my fingers off. Stand up straight, Cleopatra, you're hunching. My queen. Soon you will be on your throne. Ah, yes. now she's gonna tell yes. me other stuff to do, like a bossy little favor, though, you know two. what. I fear Lord Caesar should have the honor to bear with What am I your servant or something? Alexander okay, I am, but still. You want to impress your new lover, I see. The tomb is sealed, no? <laughs> she's is, starting to I annoy me. It, can't you go do it? All you do in is an chill in the palace and you're probably just gonna flirt with Caesar the entire day and say you're doing something like a political alliance. The underground. You would enter from below. Well, I would find a way into the cisterns and canals below, work backwards and find a way to Well whatever mission she's about to give me now, I'm just gonna do this in the next video because PlayStation 4 share only allows me to upload 15 minutes. Anyway, uh, until next time.